Okay, us. You mentioned those climate provisions, and that's big because this represents the biggest investment in climate that we have seen come out of the Senate ever. $369 billion. Uh, they're hoping to curb carbon emissions by 40% by the year 2030. There's a lot of incentives in there for renewable energy and mm. other provisions. There's also a number of health care provisions, including uh, allowing Medicare to negotiate the prices of some drugs, extending those Affordable Care Act uh, subs uh, subsidies for about three more years, and also capping out-of-pocket costs for Medicare at $2,000. And then to pay for all of this are some new tax Tax provisions as well, mm -hmm. including uh, a 15 percent minimum tax on the country's largest corporation. So that's a little bit about what's in this bill. Now, Senate Democrats still waiting on the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office to get back to them with the final number of how this will affect the deficit. They made some tweaks over the weekend, but previous iterations of this had estimated it would reduce the deficit by about 100 to 200 billion dollars. Yes, I know. Oh, my God. And it reduces the deficit on top of everything that you uh, actually will see as a benefit. This is what you want government to be doing for you. This is what you want. You want the government to negotiate the price of prescription drugs for a government program called Medicare. This is what you want. You want the government to be investing in climate mitigation. You want the government to be building hubs for uh, 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 manufacturing for things that we don't make in this country uh, makes us dependent on China or makes us wait for our new car to be delivered because we don't have the, the, the semiconductors. We don't have the chips. Uh, to put into the car. I mean, this is what the government's supposed to be doing. It's supposed to be doing the things that we can't do on our own. It's supposed to be doing the things that, uh, you know, only government can do, that individuals cannot do on their own. Uh, and that is what this government is doing. So that's us. You want to you wanna see them? They had CPAC this weekend, okay? They, I swear to God. This was such a... It, it, the clown car just rolls on. I mean... I'm going to show you, like, okay, so so here's what we were working on this weekend. I just showed it to you, and this is the result. We got it on Friday of the investment, the, the American recovery investment, the infrastructure investment. Now we're seeing, you know, more jobs created and better paying jobs created and workers are doing better and blah, 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 right? Okay, and they are against the gouge. They're, they're against the anti-gouging bill. Uh, they're against $35 as a cap for a 100-year-old drug, $35 a month, because this is what uh, they're, they're, they're interested in. We can't give up on the other corrupt acts that put our country in the position that we're in, like the 30,000 emails that were erased and, oh, that was okay, that Seriously? Hillary did that. Benghazi. Oh, my gosh. All Benghazi? these things were, oh, yeah, we're going to investigate. Congress should be having this these badass huge rallies on the steps of the Capitol and it should be congressmen they have the platform they should be having these press conferences they should even ha be having fireside chat chats they should do whatever they can to get out there with a the message to the public to let them know what's going on right I, I don't but know why they don't okay. seize the opportunity oh my god what did she just say so she that's Sarah Palin for those of you who aren't watching but listening Went very bad face work. It is. I'm glad you mentioned that. Actually, I was really wondering what was I going on. I keep telling women. Bit. I don't want to listen. Mm. I'm not against it. I just think don't mess with your lips. Okay, don't be doing the duck lip thing. Don't be getting implants and don't be lifting and don't be shooting and snorting and you know putting it in the lips. It looks freaky. But anyway, so that was Sarah Palin standing there with Steve Bannon, and I think that was Eric Prince from, uh, you know, a uh, defense contractor, uh, you know, based in China. Or I have no idea. He's renamed it so many times. But standing there saying that what they're into as a Republican Party, swear to God, is investigating Hillary Clinton's emails and Benghazi. You know, there were 11 Benghazi hearings. You understand that? There were 11. She testified for 11 hours. This thing went on for two freaking years, and they found absolutely no wrongdoing on her part or, or this government's part at all, ever, in any sense of the word. Anyway, this is what they're interested in. So here we are moving forward. Here we are building our economy. Here we are building our manufacturing. Here we are creating union jobs. Here we are creating, you know, uh, 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 I mean, just the lowest unemployment in 50 freaking years with a completely divided 50-50 Senate and still 
getting an American Rescue Plan passed, still getting a, a, the PACT Act passed, the, the, the greatest expansion of veterans benefits. The Republicans are against veterans benefits. Standing there with a freaking defense contractor talking about Benghazi. This is so sick. It is just so bizarre, so twisted, so ass backwards. But that's who they are. All right, so that was Sarah Palin. Okay, so this is us uh, passing, uh, you know, all kinds of uh, things that Americans need, want, have to have, deserve. Okay, and uh, this is them. The federal bureaucrats are going to push this radicalism. We should (laughs) abolish the Department of Education. (laughs) Listen to them. Down with education. Down. Education sucks. It blows. It's bad. I hate education. Yay. Yeah, let's stop selecting books to burn and just burn all of them. Burn them all of them. (laughs) One big bonfire, baby. Like, uh, you know, disco or something like that. I, I swear to God, they're all about breaking things. That's all they're, they can sell to their people is we're going to break things. We're going to dismantle. We're going to deconstruct. We're going to take. We're going to take and take and take. And you're going to give and give and give. And you're going to like it. I mean, that's all they do. She wants to go back and investigate Hillary. Hillary, for God's sake. She wants to see her email still. She wants to get that risotto recipe. I'm telling you right now. It, it is the sickest thing. And then, you know, I just gave you the job report, right? Listen to him. You have not good job numbers right now. They're not counting all of the millions of people that aren't working. <laughs> if you looked at the real numbers, that 3.5 would be double that. Maybe some people say triple that. Okay, he's insane, you understand. He's crazy. He's bat crap nuts. He, he's so upset that Biden's job numbers outshine his by a mile. It's it, you couldn't if you if you took the last three GOP administrations and added all their job creation numbers together, it wouldn't be this good. OK, and so they, they have to just lie. Let's abolish the board of education. Let's abolish the education department. Let's let's job numbers aren't good. They're not good. You don't have good job numbers. And then they invited the uh, like I said, if Biden would just be a little racist or a lot racist. You'd have to be a lot racist to compete with them at this point. I mean, you have to hate Jews. You have to hate African Americans. You have to hate Muslims. You have to hate uh, Hispanics from all parts of the world. I mean, it doesn't matter if they're from Spain or Portugal. They don't know the difference between Portuguese and Spanish. Okay. Doesn't matter if they're from Central America or South America. Doesn't matter if they're from the Caribbean or or, or, or they're from, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the Pacific shores of, uh, you know, Costa Rica. They, they can't tell the difference. But you have to hate them all. And man, they double, tripled, quadruple down on that. You know who they invited to CPAC? The Hungarian fascist dictator, Viktor Orban, who's against race mixing. Swear to God, they invited him and he came. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.